Riches. Riches. Come on, Richie. We call him Richie. Oh, us. Peter the Janitor. That's, that's the spoiled brat. Don't sit on your sister. She's sitting on her. Stop it, Richie. Come here. Reba is spoiled. She doesn't like not getting all the attention. Come on. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Richie. Richie is the grumpy old man. I have always had a pick niece my whole life. I had Missy. She ran away. And then I had Rags. Oh, you're going to get in so trouble. Richie is like the alpha. And so he doesn't really like having to deal with this thing. Can you move? Thank you. That's rude. That's rude. Okay. So we've had Richie for 11 years and he is my old guy. You can't see him because you're big head, Bertha. Anyway, so this is Richie. Excuse the bad video, right? Would you stop? Oh my gosh. We do hands are not chewable. So this is Richie. We've had him for 11 years and he is our baby, but he's a grumpy old man. Super grumpy. Right. Are you a good boy? Oh, are you a good boy? I love you. I love you. Yeah, I should a good boy. He really does love us, I promise. Check out this picture. What? You know you love it. We have this whole like fighting thing they have going on. Stop. Stop. Okay. That's enough. She is like leaning on me. She's. This is ridiculous. Quit. My hands don't go in your mouth. It's not okay. Okay, so next is Bebo. Reba, this isn't about you. This is about Bebo. Okay, so Bebo is, how old are you, Bebo? Say I'm six years old. Quit biting my hand. Could you? So, this is Bebo. Bebo's hiding. Bebo, why are you hiding, buddy? Because Reba, my God. See, Reba is, is drama. She just wants all the attention for herself. Reba has claimed to me as her person. And the problem is, is all other four dogs love me too. And so she doesn't like it. So I'm having to learn how to ignore her whenever I'm holding another dog and like just push her off. Hey, don't growl, it's okay. And they get really like frustrated with her. So we're having to really try, you know. Okay, back to our dog interview. Huh. That was crazy, right? Okay, so this is Bebo. Bebo is six years old this year. Why you Actually, Richie will be 12, golly. Anyways, he is a Shih Tzu, but he's not your typical Shih Tzu. Um, he, he's like got that ratty hair, like kind of almost terrier-like, and he his face stinks, which I think is normal for Shih Tzu, so you have to keep it clean and cut short. Bebo is the worst dog we have. Like, when I say the worst dog, I mean he has anxiety. He is food aggressive, severely food aggressive. And we've worked on that, haven't we? See, Mommy, we worked on it. I do a lot better. Yes. Oh, I'm boring you. I'm sorry. Bebo eats his own poop. Um, you can give dogs powder so that they don't eat their own poop. Reva, leave it off. Reva likes to open the cabinet doors. <laughs> Anyway, so Bebo is like, and he's like, we go camping, we travel a lot, and he's like the anxiety dog. He'll jump up in the car and just start barking, woo, 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 for no reason. Just like, woo, 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 woo. And at night, he'll go, woo, 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 for no reason. And he will, if you leave, like, he'll, he'll sleep in our bed, and he'll just lick the whole time. And I get very, very frustrated with that. And I say, Bevo, stop. stop licking. And he's like, he'll stop. I'll fall back to sleep. And then he'll go. <laughs> oh, he's the worst dog ever. But we love him. Right. We love you. Don't lick me. You eat your own poop. -poo. <laughs> Although we've been iced in, so he hasn't been able to eat his own poop. Bevo's voice is, I, every dog has a voice. R Richie. He really don't have a voice because he's kind of like, does all the talking for himself. 
But Bebo says, Hey guys, you want to go play at the park? Come here, little kid. You want to see what I got? You got a pack of smokes? Like, that's what he reminds me of. Dirty Uncle Sal. Yeah? Okay, good talk. You're a good boy, Bebo. Bebo. Whoa. He's the worst dog in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he's fat. I mean, yeah, but that's okay. We do love him. We do love him. He's grown on us. I mean, he was the worst puppy ever. Okay, meet Nova. I don't know if Nova's going to stay still because she's like jumping. Okay. Oh, that was sweet. She just kind of cuddled in. So, Nova is an Australian Shepherd. She was supposed to be a mini, and I think she's a micro. She weighs nine pounds. Novi. And she looks like a possum at times. Right, no. She looks like a possum. And she likes to lick you in the face, which is like something you can't take away from her because she just does it. She is the best dog we've ever had. She's so easy going. She travels well. She listens. She doesn't try to run away. She doesn't bark. She sneezes. So let's see if I can get her to do it. Come here. Come here. Let's see if she'll sneeze. Nope. Oh, y'all know it was me? Oh. <laughs> They're not that stupid. Anyway, so she goes. When there's somebody <laughs> when there's somebody at the door, that's Novi. She's just so sweet and so good. She travels well. She listens. She's obedient. She's got a sweet little personality. If I'm getting on to the kids or the other dogs, she's like cowered down hiding somewhere. She knows not to get on mom's bed list. She literally can't do anything wrong. She's Chad's favorite dog as well. I know that sounds terrible. You're not supposed to have favorites, but she's my, she's not my favorite, but she's my very best well-mannered dog. Then that brings us to Reba. As you can tell, Reva's a diva. She has been in every video. Now that we're talking about Reva, she won't want to be in this video. She won't even want my attention. Oh, she's going to go ring the bell to go potty. Anyway, so Reva we got, uh, let's see, June? July? No, May, June, July. So, yeah, we got her in July. And my friend, her dog had puppies. And so she sent me a picture and there was like red merles and then this one. And so I told Chad, I was like, if we got one of these, which one would you want? And he picked out the brown one. I was like, cool. The brown one looked just, she looks just like her mom. And so he goes, but we're not getting another one. And I was like, well, Nova was supposed to be 30 pounds. Come here, Novi. Novi, come here, Nova. Nova, come here, Nova. I'll get Reva. Come here. Come here, Richie. Look, now you just call the opposite dog's name of who you want to come up here. You know? Richie will come. Because he's mama's boy. He mama boy. Come here, Richie. See? Now Reva comes. She's horrible. Anyways, she is an intention hound. So then we were talking about getting the dog. And I said, let's name her Reva. And Hayden goes, yeah, I love the name Reva with a V, R-E-V-A. And I was like, oh, okay. So her name was Reva before she ever came home. So we call her Reva the Diva and it definitely fits because she is a diva she and she is a, a pain. She's a stool? Yeah, I'm sitting on her. Oh. <laughs> so that concludes all of my dogs. You have met all four of them. And um, on our next video, I'll introduce you to my six chickens. Yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> have a great day, y'all realize you're like the worst best dog ever, right? I love you. When she like hugs you, she looks into your soul. Reba, right. Can you say cheese? Look at the camera and say cheese. No? Where did daddy go, guys? Where did daddy go? Are y'all looking to see where daddy went?